Hi all, welcome to my little tutorial game. We are looking at talking animations today. Please note that this is mostly for programmers. A section for artists is planned, but that was way out of scope for SHM 2025. This thing here will also be made available as a video on YouTube, so I'll talk to potential viewers when it makes sense. If you are playing this instead, it is a playable demo, go check it out, watch on YouTube. Feel free to ignore those comments. Oh, also, please excuse the audio quality. I am a programmer and make of visual assets. I am specifically not a voice actor. Talking is hard. Treasure the VAs you have. This voice track is recorded on my humble home setup and the audio is not mastered in any way. Sorry. To make things worse, English is not my native language, as you might have heard already. And I will not bother any editors with this. Sorry for mistakes and my accent. Let this be a reminder to those playing on mute. The whole point of this exercise is showing talking animations to sound. You might want to hear that sound. To not stumble blindly through some of these concepts, I will attempt to explain them as briefly as I can. If you are not interested in that, you can skip those steps. I don't mind. All good? Good. Let us start with composites. Ramper teaches beginners to display their displayables, show some texts, maybe play sounds. There may come the point where you want your character sprites to be layered with something else, for example a cool t-shirt. This is achievable with the power of layers. In RenPy we call layered displayables composites. Did you know that? If you are on YouTube and really do not want to see this, then feel free to use the jump points in the pinned comment or in the description. Way back, composites were called live composites. You will find that term from time to time in old forum threads and tutorials. Don't worry about it. Nowadays, all dynamic paths are live, so live composites were changed to composites. Both ways to write it still work, although composite is the new and correct one. If you are using a recent RenPy version, you should use it. Composites are images. You declare them as composite, then give the first argument as its size, followed by all layers from back to front. In this example, from the RenPy documentation on the displayables, the first layer is the body, then comes the clothes layer, then expressions. Each of these come with a position. If your upper layers are the same size as your base image, and if they are at the right position when stacked onto each other, then that position should be 0, 0. In the example you see, the expression is positioned at 50-50. In my experience, this is not worth the trouble because it saves no actual disk space. Look up Duplicate String Elimination in Deflate for more. Check out Huffman Coding while you are at it. Exciting stuff. By the way, all things that look like links in this VN are clickable for further reading. Composites can not only be used to stack clothes and expressions onto your base sprite, although that is a great way to use them, you can also stack more complex displayables. Here is what a composite for lip flaps may look like. As you can see, it has the regular structure of a base layer, then an expression, but then something strange. While speaking is a custom function you will not find in basic RenPy. You may have seen Blink and Lip Flap from the RenPy cookbook. It provides usable code to get a basic function going. This is probably where all RenPy lip flap code originated. We will briefly look at the code to understand what is going on, okay? Okay, deep breath. Ready? I'm not serious. If you have program experience, it's not that hard to understand. First off, we said nobody is speaking. Then comes a function called while speaking. This is not the same function we saw in the composite. Think of it as the innermost heart piece of this code. You do not use that code directly. While speaking has five arguments. Don't worry about ST and AT. They are for Python to figure out. The first argument tells RenPy who is speaking so that the correct sprite moves. Then comes speak D, which is the animation you want to play while someone is talking. To be more precise on the last two bits, Every composite that uses while speaking will check if the character currently speaking has the same tag as itself. We will look at that in a bit. If it does, they will play the animation you put in. 
don't make that one too complex. Complexity hurts performance. Last up is Dundee. This one is shown if a character is not speaking. It should be your character's rest pose, not the last frame of some complicated mouth flap. Don't worry about the line after that, but if you really want to know, curried while speaking, Renpai curry while speaking, means just that curried while speaking can be used with less arguments than while speaking and can still receive input later. If you want to know more, look up currying and functional programming, cool stuff. Next up is the line we actually came here to see. And it's just funneling the arguments we already got to know into that while speaking curry. The result of that is input for a dynamic displayable. For further info on dynamic displayables, click here. Dynamic displayables take functions that still take two arguments, ST and AT. Remember? Those are the ones I told you not to worry about before. This is the point where Python and Runpy deal with them. No need to go into details still. Don't worry about it. Next, let us look into how talking characters in this code are connected. For this, a very simple callback is implemented. Let us first look at how a character is defined. This is what a defined character normally looks like. Chances are you have already seen this at least once. If not, stare at it a bit. It is pretty straightforward. Character can take a callback too. If, during dialogue, specific things happen, the function given as the callback arguments gets called. For a list of all things callback can react to, see here. From that link, we are only really interested in show, which triggers every time a segment of dialogue is shown, and end, which happens at the end. This is the function we give to the callback. It is current in the last line so that we can plug it in there. In this part we see the inner function. It receives a name and an event. If show is triggered, set the speaking variable to the name just received. If the text box is done printing, it will send the end event, which lets the callback know that it is time to set nobody as speaking again. Now all characters on screen can check their internal name against the name that was just set to the speaking variable. If there's match, they move. Well then, let us again look at how that code is used. We have already seen this composite. It consists of a base layer, an expression and the animated part at the bottom. Let us briefly check how the animations work. First, the expression. It consists of open eyes, then some randomized paws, then closed eyes. The choice block in the middle is the randomization. Renpy will pick one of the options in the choices at random and use that. A word of caution again. Go easy on those choices. Have too many and your game's performance will drop especially if you have a dozen or so characters, all of them blinking to their heart's content. This may sound like exaggeration or superstition, but it got to the point in our team once, where our author had to force stop a game every time she wanted to close the game because Renpai would not let her quit in any other way. If you look at the blinking I do in the source code, which you should, you will find that my code is a bit more involved than what you see on screen. You can find it in game custom Renpai, refined animations Renpai, and game character animations Illuminos Renpai. See by observation what I do differently first, then look at my code. Try to make it feel even more natural if you can. This whole thing is a tutorial, so a bit of creative work should be included. I found that I could get away with the level of complexity you see in there, so that is the blinking I use in every game I put it in. I usually vary it a bit for different expressions and characters though. Next, let us look at the mouth. Very simple stuff. Alternate between half open and full open frames while talking. That will work just fine for a start. Again, mine are more refined to look more natural. Now, a word of advice. You, dear programmer, may find yourself in a very tricky situation with this code in the future as soon as you put your assets into the game. Your artist gave you a shouting or laughing sprite with the mouth hanging open. Then they give you lip flaps and either the mouth is even more open in those or they close it for the mouth speak two frames. You try it out and it looks horrible, jarring. You try to fix it, write extra code to make open mouth sprites look good. It doesn't quite come together. You just wasted valuable jam hours trying to fix a problem you were not aware could hit you because it was never a problem before. The way to solve this is simple. Do not let your artist give you expressions where the base frame has an open mouth. Ever. 
It never works, unless your character is supposed to be a mouth breather, or you need quite useless extra code. If you need a specific expression with a mouth hanging open in shock or joy or rage, build that yourself with a base and mouth took using composites. Do not animate this one aside from blinking. Build a separate one for those expressions for talking with a closed mouth as base. You are welcome. Don't repeat my mistakes. Now let's see how this looks in action. For that I will switch my voice to alternate me on the left. This will not be voiced. Let us first look at how we put voice lines into our script. This is important. As a reminder, this is what it looks like. You see that the audio track is marked as voice. That way you can differentiate the voice lines from other audio files like sound effects and music, both as a programmer and a player. We can use that voice track to add a tiny bit of code to our while speaking code from before. Remember this? Sorry if you skipped the code section. Bear with me for a minute. You don't get a menu to skip the following bit. The original idea for the following code came from this thread from over 10 years ago. Change the code to this one and we'll now also check whether the audio voice channel is currently playing a thing. Additionally, get rid of most of the speaker callback code. This way your character does not stop talking while the voice is still there, just because the text box finished. This, however, does not check who is talking. You may run into situations now where a character moves despite another character making sounds. Imagine one character talking on screen, then a voice from off screen. The speaking variable is still pointing to the character you see. That guy will move. Our author CCL wrote a bit of extra code for that to disable speakers or set who is speaking at will. You will find the complete code in game refund animations.rempy again. In there you will also see another layer of abstraction. Normally, you would need to write one composite definition block for each new expression. To reduce that overhead, CCR extracted that logic into a couple of usable functions. You just define your expression, write create character composite, give that a couple words and sizes and make sure your directory structure is clean. I will not go into detail here, just look at the code. It's all documented in there. A quick tour on what you will find. Predefined talking and blinking animations various predefined composites. These use the predefined animations. This particular transformation to display composites at half size. Code documentation and comments. I hope this will help you get into this technology faster than we did. And that is basically it. I hope you learned something worthwhile. Feel free to use this code in any way you like. If you have watched this as a video and want to get the code, get it from here. Either use git to clone the project or use download source code to get it. We publish our code here under CC by 4.0 so please credit us at Notak Europa if you use our variations to enhance your works. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Links for that you can grab at our blog or itch page. Alternatively reach out to me on itch, reddit or discord or something. I'm illuminous everywhere. Sorry again if you want to use this code now, but have no idea how to make the visual assets for it. I'm working on the lip flip tutorial for artists, but it will take a while. Thanks for playing or watching, have a nice day!